About a month ago, I made a video showing off a tool that can delete files significantly faster than any other method I've seen in Windows. It was just a short video on my small channel, but it ended up getting way more attention than I expected, and I got a lot of suggestions for ways to delete files quickly. In this video, I'm going to benchmark them against our custom tool, NMUIDI, and talk through the results. Before I get to the benchmarks, there's one suggestion I really want to get out of the way first, and that's Shift Delete. Way too many people thought that holding shift and pressing delete was going to be the fastest way to delete files on Windows. I'm just going to let this run on the same sample data and move on because it's going to take a while. Another suggestion that I'm not going to benchmark is formatting partitions. This one would scale well, I mean it would work well with large amounts of data, it's just not feasible for most use cases. I'm using this script to generate my sample dataset, which matches my previous video's dataset almost perfectly, with the small caveat that in this dataset, every file is 5 megabytes, and in the last video, my dataset had files that were a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Huge shout out to my friend Dylan for originally making NMUIDI and for making this script to help me test. One thing to note is that your timings won't match mine since we're running different hardware, but I would expect the ratios to be similar, and I'd probably expect the rankings to be the same. If you find that's not the case, let me know in the comments, I'd love to see. Alright, time to get into the results. I used a benchmarking tool called Hyperfine to generate the sample data and run each delete command twice. This graph shows the average of both runs, and while it's hard to see the winner, it's pretty easy to see the loser, and that is using RM from BusyBox. If we remove BusyBox from the graph, you can see more clearly the results. NMUIDI is 45% faster than RMDIR, which was the second fastest. And it's 55% faster than Robocopy, which was definitely the most popular suggestion. The reason these tools are slower is a complex topic, with a lot of unknowns. But we can start by considering what each of their goals are. For example, Robocopy is not a tool made for deleting things. It's made for copying files. My theory why it's slower is that there's probably a lot more overhead. The people who made Robocopy probably didn't consider that the mirror flag would be used as a delete tool, and didn't optimize for that scenario. It's a similar story for why WSL1 is slower. Even though it's much faster than WSL2, which I tested in the last video, there's still a lot of overhead. Because it's not meant to be a blazing fast delete tool, it's meant to bring Linux to Windows, and just be fast enough. The reason Robocopy, BusyBox, and WSL are slower is not an optimization problem. It's a difference of purpose. ARMDIR and Dell were much closer to NMUIDI because they share a common purpose. They're focused on deleting things. It's harder to comment on exactly why they're slower because it's an optimization problem. Without source code, I don't really want to make an uneducated guess. What we can say is that it's highly dependent on the scenario. Deleting one 100 gigabyte file is a lot easier in Windows than deleting 10,000 files that add up to 100 gigabytes. Add on top of that a highly nested directory structure, and the built-in Windows functionality begins to struggle a lot. So it's for this specific scenario that we've optimized NMUIDI, and that's why it performs the best. One weird thing, when I was testing everything preparing for this video, I was using empty files instead of 5 megabyte files, and in that situation, ARMDIR was only 12% slower instead of twice as slow. I'm not sure exactly why the file size matters so much, but since empty files are not really a typical use case, I changed the script to generate something closer to the real world scenario, and these results match what I'm getting in the real world using this at my job and deleting hundreds of gigabytes of data cleaning build agents. Thanks for all the suggestions, it was fun getting to benchmark all these tools. But for now, I think NMUIDI is still the fastest way to delete files on Windows. In the description, I'll have a link to the sample data generation script, the benchmark commands, and the results from these tests. If you have more suggestions, put them in the comments or make a pull request, and I'll consider adding them and rerunning the benchmarks. Thanks for watching, and I guess like and subscribe too.